Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Thank you for joining me in this presentation for the paper Making Praça Nelson Mandela, Morphological Change and Graphic Interventions to Define a New Square in the Botafogo District of Rio de Janeiro, a paper by Dr. Mirella de Menezes Miliari and Dr. Robert Harland from Loughborough University, UK. Before starting the presentation, I should contextualize this paper as an outcome of a larger research named Memorializing Mandela in the Metropolis. The Graphic Design Research Unit in Loughborough University has started a research early this year about Nelson Mandela's graphic heritage across three countries in three continents, chosen for their many differences and yet for contributing to Mandela's heritage in singular ways. He is represented in Pretoria, Rio de Janeiro and Leicester. These three cities, each almost equidistant from one another, bring different perspectives and representations of Nelson Mandela in public spaces through typography, signs, murals and other means from an urban graphic perspective. Here, from left to right, a few examples of graphic objects picked up at each of the three sites. A sign displayed in Nelson Mandela Park in Mamelodi, outside Pretoria, a mural displayed in Praça Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela Square, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and a portal, an outdoor, in Nelson Mandela Park in Leicester, England. These assets are a sample of what we are looking at, at uh, as representations of Nelson Mandela in these sites. Making Praça Nelson Mandela. In Rio de Janeiro, we highlight how an otherwise indistinct parcel of land is further transformed into Praça Nelson Mandela and subsequently differentiated and enhanced through the imposition of graphic heritage associ associated with him. Therefore, we aim to raise awareness of the role of the graphic object in the larger scaled urban object. The research provides a cross-disciplinary view integrating the morphological and visual dimensions of urban design. This paper presents the initial research looking into Praça Nelson Mandela in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It aims at raising awareness to the collection of graphic objects representing Nelson Mandela in this square named after him and the impact such objects can have in an urban environment. Introduction. Praça Nelson Mandela is located in Botafogo neighborhood in Rio de Janeiro. Here we can see a few pictures all from this neighborhood. Following the building of an underground station in 1981, the inauguration of the square in 2011 has, the, has played a strategic role in uplifting the neighborhood. Botafogo has undergone a process of gentrification with recent escalation of real estate value over the past four years. Urban morphology studies have identified Praça Nelson Mandela as an important location, as cinemas, bookstores, bars and restaurants have more laterally become established in the vicinity. In 2019, the square was part of a further re-urbanization uh, project and for the first time, graphic representations of Nelson Mandela were introduced. Research focus. On the right hand side here, uh, we can see an overview upon the square. We are particularly interested in documenting the recent graphic interventions that have added to the revitalization of the square. It was only in 2019 that graphic representations were added to the square. The ephemeral nature of these graphics 
means they may well be discarded or upgraded in the future, in the future as the square conti continues to develop. The quality of these graphics makes us researchers wonder what further action will be taken as they will suffer effects of the time. Research context examining uh, Praça Nelson Mandela is part of a larger study being undertaken across three continents, as earlier put. Comparisons will be further made with similar locations in South Africa and the UK beyond the scope of this paper. In singling out the graphic objects, we argue they constitute a graphic heritage for Nelson Mandela. Research methods. At this early stage, we have adopted some basic principles John Cecil has referred to as design inquiry in order to draw together an otherwise disparate set of disciplinary perspectives that chart the course of establishing the square. We are mostly concerned with what Cecil refers to as an exploratory hypothesis uh, working towards an orderly description of the research. This reflects the local knowledge of the research team, but also limited access as the topic is being explored from the UK. Uh, at this stage, the research is a preliminary investigation towards a more explicit holistic framework. We utilize observing physical traces as a research tool, in particular, the public messages related to Mandela on display in this square. We also utilize urban design as a useful model for exploring the various dimensions associated with the development of the square. Looking at the chart on the right hand side, we can see urban design provides six key dimensions, temporal, perceptual, morphological, visual, social, and functional, all of which are related to place production and design governance. We have chosen as a starting point to concentrate on aspects of the morphological and the visual dimensions to emphasize the impact of change in the urban fabric and the opportunity this has created for recent design interventions. Morphological change in Botafogo. We have looked into two specific studies about the urban morpho morphology of Botafogo conducted by urbanists from the Universidade Federal Fluminense, UFI, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The first study, undertaken by Carvalho and Pacheco 2019, concentrates on the scale at which social practices promote urban vitality and changing perceptions of the district's image, the macro scale. The second study by Venturin, Dias, Araújo and Correa 2019 provides another analysis on the square through Jacob's concept of vitality, uh, which is an indicator to define the ability to attract diversity in its broadest sense. Diagram for the urban vitality in Botafogo. This diagram, which we see on this screen, has been sourced from one of the studies we have referred to. It represents the vitality in Botafogo neighborhood by day and by night. By day, it is represented in orange, in orange color, and by night, is represented in gray. Uh, the location of greater vitality can be spotted in the square surroundings. We can see uh, there's a lot of uh, spots in the area. Both studies demonstrate that Nelson Mandela Square stands out in Botafogo. From a larger scale perspective, the square has become a place of significant vitality and visibility. At the level of urban design, it has changed the morphology of the Botafogo district, whilst at the same time 
providing a new canvas for graphic forms of self-expression. Graphic traces of Nelson Mandela. Before the 2019 refurbishment, the only tangible evidence of the presence of Man Mandela in the square were the street signs found on its corners, as the square is surrounded by Nelson Mandela Street. As determined by the City Hall guidelines, street signs include a sentence about the person the street commemorates. In the case of Nelson Mandela Street, uh, the signs provoke dispute about Mandela's memory and how it should be commemorated. The street sign on the left-hand side quotes Mandela as former president of South Africa and Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize winner. On the right-hand side, it reads rebel leader and president of South Africa. Other than his name, there had been no further visual reference to Mandela until this was addressed in the square as part of the 2019 refurbishment with the implementation of thematic graphic images of Mandela and his homeland. Here we can see the floor mural that portraits Nelson Mandela in the reopening day after uh, the 2019 refurbishment. They are the result of a public-private enterprise to promote a real estate release in the surroundings. From an urban graphic perspective, we have chosen to approach Nelson Mandela's uh, square from uh, this mesographic scale, also regarded as the human scale. In this scale, graphic assets have significant visual impact and reach when conveying messages with social intent especially assuming that squares are legitimate arenas for such manifestations. According to the urban morphology studies by the Percepcionistas Carvalho and Pacheco 2019, human graphic interventions have an impact on the urban form, for example, in the graphic detail of a place. Mandela has been depicted in several ways, through a floor mural of Mandela's portrait and, na and name, a floor mural of the South African flag alongside the Brazilian flag, a mural of the savanna landscape in South Africa on the benches surrounding the playground area, a further mural of the savanna landscape on the benches surrounding the area for the dogs. The discussion, graphic objects intervene and modify the urban landscape in so many different ways as to preserve, inform, highlight, embellish, amuse or provoke, to mention a few of their functions. We have shown uh, how familiar images of Mandela and African subcontinent reinforce the identity bestowed upon it through valued graphic objects and their associative qualities. As symbolic representations of Mandela, they stand as a form of graphic heritage. These symbols add to the graphic image of the city for the cause of creating a space in Rio de Janeiro sensitive to heritage values associated with Mandela, rather than the morphology of Botafogo. Conclusion and further direction. In the future, when considering the heritage and memorial aspects of these interventions, their relatively ephemeral nature compared to the more permanent morphological aspects can benefit from further investigating the temporal dimension of urban design as proposed by Carmona. The discussion of the visual dimension can also be informed by visual theories and analytical tools borrowed from semiotics. In sum, other elements of Mandela's graphic heritage could play a part in consolidating a graphic heritage-led regeneration agenda for Praça Nelson Mandela in Botafogo. Thank you all very much for your interest and time.